we are going to create a CSV file from a saved SharePoint spreadsheet. And the purpose of this is to connect it to the previous video, which if you remember in the previous video, what we did was we set up a Microsoft form. Um, and then what we did was we pulled the form responses into an XLS X spreadsheet with a table. And we're gonna continue building off of that flow with the whole overall goal of collecting Microsoft form responses and putting them into a CSV file, which we can then use that file to import into uh, a system. And so we're going to continue right where we left off, where we were adding, we were essentially what we were doing is creating a, uh, adding, adding data from our Microsoft form into a table um, that we had saved in SharePoint. And we're going to continue from that by an, adding a new step. This new step is going to be list rows present in table. We're gonna grab that and we're gonna add our XLS file that we have, the same one uh, that we used in the last video. So the first step is to add that. And then we're gonna select our table. Let's take a look at that file. It's right over here. That file has called these column headers here. So if you remember, we mapped our form fields to uh, these column headers so that when we receive the form responses, they're going to get added right into this table. And every time someone submits a new form, then it's going to add a new row with that data right here. And it's going to retain all of that data. It's going to continue to do that, right? So this file always exists in there and, and it collects that data. It's continuing to do that. So we wanna make sure that that file never disappears. And the next step is we're going to create our CSV table. So let's search for create CSV table. And in this from field, we're gonna select value list of items because that connects this create CSV table to this activity right here, list of rows present in table. We're gonna use the advanced options and we're gonna manually add in um, our, our values here. So we're gonna click on custom. And for this example, um, our header is going to be equal to our headers on this file over here. So we've got name, contact, email, phone. We've got all of those. Our CSV table is gonna have the same exact headers. So for this example, what we wanna do is we're gonna add in our header names for our CSV file. So um, the file that I'm creating happens to have the same exact file um, header names. So header, or CSV is going to be name. And then the value we're going to choose from the dynamic contact over here. It's pulling from this table here. And so we can choose value name so that my CSV header value under the name column is going to pull from this column name from our Excel file in SharePoint. So for this example, I'll just add a couple more. So let's have uh, contact in here and I'll choose contact. Let's have email and I'll choose email. And let's leave it at that. The next step is to create our CSV file. So we're gonna search for create file and we're gonna save that file in SharePoint. So it's a SharePoint activity you're going to need to choose a folder where you want to have this file regularly saved. So for this example, what I'm going to do is select a folder path. There we go. 
got our folder selected. Now we're going to create a file name. New form. And I want to be able to create a new file every time I get a form, a new CSV file every time I get a form response submitted. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a expression to add a, a timestamp uh, to my file name so that it's a different file name every single time that the form gets submitted. So you can search down under expressions, under time and date, and there's this UTC now, and it will, read, and it will add the, the current timestamp to your file name. So we selected that and then we click OK, and it, it inserts it right there. And then we just add that CSV to the end. And then the file content is going to be output. So that's the output of your create CSV table activity. There is one last step we need to do, and that would be to set up our flow so that it's only capturing the most recently created row in our spreadsheet and pulling that into our CSV file. So how we do that is we go to our original XLSX file, and we're going to add a row or a column, I should say, and we're going to call it last. We want to make sure that it's included as part of our table, and it will do that automatically if you already have a table right next to it and you add a new column. And then we're going to insert a formula into this um, second row here. Our formula is going to be an if formula. And how this works is if this is a formula to um, if the La if the row is the last row in the column, it will put a Y. And for all other rows, it will insert an, um, an N for null. Equals max row. And then table one, where I'm putting table one. That's where you'll need to insert the name of your own table. So the name of my table is table one, and that's why here it says table one. And then I want to have it say Y, have the cell value be Y for, uh, for yes and N for no. And let's see if that works. So we only have one row, but obviously this is the first and last row. So. That's why it's going to insert uh, N there. If I were to drag this down, then we can see now this is N for no, and this is Y for yes, it is the last row. And again, every time it, this spreadsheet updates with new form responses, it will move the Y to a last row. And that's what we want. So now what we need to do is update our flow. So in the activity list rows present in table, we're going to open that up. And when you open it up, typically it will say show advanced options here. Um, and then you can click here to reveal the, reveal the advanced options. And we want to uh, add something to this filter query field here. And what we're going to add is um, a command called last and then EQ, which is equals, and then Y. And last stands for the name of our of our column here, our column header, last. And then EQ is equals and Y. And what that's going to do is that's going to filter out. So it's only going to grab the last row of your uh, Excel spreadsheet. And that is a great option for uh, very quickly having an import file generated for every form response that you get so that you can import that those responses into whatever system you need to import it into. Um, and it saves a lot of time and energy effort. Uh, so I hope that you were able to get something out of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.